I want to show you something before we go. Uh, give me the bottles. Give me the bottles. I just want to show you something. <laughs> okay, so this is this is you. Look at how filthy and dirty you are. All right, before Christ Jesus, this is how you are. This is the sinner. Very filthy, very dirty, sinful. And there is nothing good this can ever what? Do nothing good. In fact, no matter what you do, and besides, you are sealed. You can't open. You are locked. That is why you have to give the law, because you are locked. Are you getting the point? And so your sin is forever that you are forever dirty. And Jesus Christ came on the scene and he had to what, save you. But the only way for you to be saved is for blood to be what? To be poured. Blood to be poured. Your life being extinct for another life. Are you getting it? So when Jesus came, you were so useless that nothing good could be done out of you. So what Jesus did was that he came to take your place. So this is Jesus, very purified, very holy, and this is you, very dirty. All right, and you must die because you are what? You are dirty. So what Jesus had to do was to just, you know, this is what happened. He just swapped you. All right. Now this one had to go on the cross. The wages of sin is there. And even the righteousness of this one is like filthy rag. So the holy Jesus had to come and what? Take your place. So there was what? Swapping. And when he took your place, what happened is that, you know, he died for you. All right. When he died for you, now he died, you know, this way for you. Okay. Now, and when he was rising, he rose with you. But this time around, this, eh, this was not needed again. It was thrown away. Everything. Everything. Because when we say this, we are not talking about the outward. We are actually talking about what is inside. So you, you are inside. You understand? And he had to what? Change you. Now, a Christian, it's not like he poured this out and then pour this inside this. No, he completely took this out of the way. So the man Jesus died for, died. But the man he rose for is you. Hallelujah. Amen. But before you became like this, he had to do something. Bring the other, the wine, the bottle, the wine, yes. Before he had to do that, his blood, which is the blood, he had to what? Pour it. He poured it. This coming into the new you, okay, is what you are carrying now. So the life of Christ in you is not only this, which is clean, wonderful, you know, but it's also the blood itself, the blood itself, that is you. Do you, do you understand what I'm talking about? So when we talk about the blood of Jesus Christ, we are actually talking about your substance. We are talking about you. Amen. That's why Satan cannot touch you. Satan cannot. Demons, they fear you. They fear you. Praise the Lord. You need to believe this. So now you have it. The sinner, the blood, the righteous man. The what? The sinner, the blood, the righteous man. There is no way this one can become like this unless there is blood. That is why Jesus had to pour his blood so that this one will go away. And now because of this, this one can live. Because he lives.